Hi and good morning. This wonderful Monday morning on Talk Stops, right? You're welcome. How was your weekend? Hope you had fun. I did. I did have a wonderful weekend. So hope you spent your weekend enjoying yourself with the families, friends, whoever, whoever makes you happy. All right. All right. So let's get into today's topic. Today's topic is a, is a bit long, and our advice for you guys to watch till the end because at times. When you want to solve a problem, okay, that punchline might be in between that message or towards the end or even in the, in the beginning part of the message. So our content is not here to always make you laugh. It's not always here to make you think. It's here to solve problems. That's why it's called talks thoughts. So talks thoughts with your own thoughts will be shared across the world by this wonderful platform called YouTube and Facebook, okay? I need to solve problems across the world. Let's solve problems. Let's change narratives across the world. Our topic for this morning, let me not deviate, sorry, okay? is talking about aging because all of us will have to age at some point in our life. And if you find this topic interesting, kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel, okay? And our Facebook page is the same name, talks thoughts let's get inspired first okay so there are some reasons why some people get to an elderly age and they just lose self-esteem losing self-esteem at an elderly age is very bad it can cause someone to die in time and it can lead to early deaths it can lead to internal you know, internal issues with the person and physical issues with the person. So let's inspire ourselves this morning with a little quote. How to improve on your self-esteem. Attributing all your success to external factors or luck. Mm. Luck only. Only luck. <laughs> it's very wrong. That will lower your self-esteem. Number two, attributing all your failures to internal qualities. Right? I hope you got that right. Okay, so number three, stop comparing yourself to others. Okay? Stop compa comparing yourself to others. Number four, expecting perfection. No, it's wrong. Rather, it's about daily progress. When you are making daily progress, it's a better option than expecting perfection. Nothing is perfect. But if you are getting a daily progress, it doesn't lower your self-esteem, which is a better option. Number five. Trying to be who others want you to become. You see? Trying to be who what others want you to become, which is very difficult. It will lower your self-esteem. You won't discover yourself. You won't know what you are good at. You just want to please others, which is wrong. Number six, speaking negatively to yourself. That's bad. Don't ever speak negative to yourself in any condition, in any situation. I advise it lowers the self-esteem okay so number seven hmm, this is very interesting spending time on unrealistic and harmful social media content hmm. and you know we are all on this social media social media social media thing so try and spend time on realistic Content, not unrealistic. Realistic content, not unrealistic. Right? Get that English right. So spend time on unrealistic or harmful social media content. Because most of these contents are your diet. So when you talk of diet, some people talk of food. Your diet is very important. And to make clarities, okay? Your diet is what you see, 
Your diet is what you read. Your diet is what you, the people you mingle with. Your diet, your diet is your friends that you associate yourself with, your colleagues. Those are your diets. So you should know how to navigate about your diet. Okay? If not, you will have low self-esteem. Being in an unhealthy relationship, that's number seven. Wow, that one is so very terrible. Being in an un unhealthy relationship. If it's not worth it, you get out of it. Basing your worth solely on external validation and only celebrating not affects very bad and can lower yourself. Well, basing your worth solely on external validation. I know I don't know if you understand that word. Okay, so allowing your past mistakes to define you. No, that's a big mistake. If you allow your past to define you, you will have low self-esteem. And lastly, it's just a sound of warning or an advice to all my friends, followers, and well-wishers, Zenka Like members. Okay? Always worship whichever God you serve. Either you're a Christian or a Muslim or whichever religion you worship and makes you happy. Always worship and stay with your God. It won't lower your self-esteem. Instead, it will give you hope. Alright? So don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you're enjoying our topic. Okay? And always continue to come back to watch our videos. It said, in the multitude of counsel, there is safety. So, that being said, let's dive into today's topic proper. Alright? So, we're talking of aging. Hmm. One thing about aging is that a lot of us don't know that the more we get old in life, the more our internal organs also age with us. Yes, my eyes is aging, my nose is aging, my teeth, my tongue, my lungs, my liver, they are all aging. So you paint a scenario because at 60, you look cute by wearing beautiful dresses. No. If only God can allow you to see inside of you, then you know where to spend your hard-earned money on. Regular checkups, tests, you know, eating healthy, exercising, drinking a lot of water, very, 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 very important. Okay, so once you are 60, everything that has to do with you is 60 years old. If you are four year old, everything in your body is four year old. It's operating as a four year old. So you're, if, you're, if you're 60, your heart is 60 years old. And you know what it means to be 60 years old? Your cells begin to dry off, wear out, and you begin to age. That's where age begins to come in. To some people, age means gray beards. Those are young, young guys and young ladies. Yes, that's where it starts from, maturity, aging. But at a point in time in life, you begin to see the person begins, this hair begins to fall off. The person begins to bend and then aging sets in. And then the someone will get, gets, we start getting shrinking and smaller and shorter. And then you begin to see the person from a different point of view, like, wow, you're still alive. Why are you looking like this? Aging. Digestive issues comes with aging. Getting shorter or smaller comes with aging. So, reduced sweat 
comes with age and so. Okay? Weak immunity comes with age and so. Then the bladder becomes uncontrollable. So you see, if only you can see inside of your brain down to your toes and see what's going on there, you'll be able to at least navigate and take care of those parts. But because we can't see it, all we can see is just outside, the outlook. That's what we're seeing. Okay? So, take time, check on your medical practitioners or your gynecologist, do your regular checkup, eat healthy veggies, okay, exercise, and live a good life. So that when you get old, aging is not a bad thing. When you age, you still look healthy and you still feel healthy. Alright? So, what are your thoughts as regards aging? Have a wonderful Monday morning as you go to work from here, Lagos, Nigeria, and where else across the world, okay? God bless you all for joining in to this long and lengthy video on Talks Talks, right? Do have a wonderful Monday morning. Bye.